Hey guys, welcome back to the Triumvirate podcast, and this is one that's going to, um, I'm going to address a few different things, some changes in the channel moving forward. I know that the channel's kind of been neglected, um, and and that's that's on me. Uh, The reason for it, I've been going hard on Twitch, I've been going hard on my TikTok account, which is related to competitive uh, gaming, uh, 2K and Call of Duty, um, and the show is still going on. We're still animating. We, it's just this one's very technically um, focused. It, it's it's our best animation we've done so far, but it's very difficult. Uh, it's it's advanced stuff. It's it's new stuff that that the animators are working on. Um, but it's going to be the best best episode we've done so far. And I do apologize how long it's taking. It's just that, you know, the budget for this is just on me, right? So, um, you know, we, we do get a small amount per month from uh, Patreon, and we do appreciate that. But but the rest of it is, is footed by myself. And uh, I can only ask my animators and artists to work as much as I can offer them, right? Just like anyone else. Yeah. Like the Joker says in The Dark Knight, if you're good at something, never do it for free. So that's kind of the reason for the holdup on that. Now, um, the future of this channel, what does it look like? Well, I've been in my own head for the past year on how I wanted to go through with this. Uh, One, uh, I could keep everything straight, Star Wars. And and Star Wars, obviously, it means so much to me, and it's my favorite IP out there. And it's done so much for me as well. I mean, look at all the people who, who have found this channel and subscribed because of Star Wars. And same thing goes through my Twitch, right? Like so many people have found me through SWOTOR and uh, Battlefront, and, and it's done a lot for me. And just the IP itself, you know, I became a fan when I was just a little kid, and, and I love it, and I love it to this day. And and uh, I still pay attention, um, and, and I still, you know, read and and, and watch and, and read the updates and everything that happens. Um, however, it's been somewhat reduced, uh, admittedly. Um, Disney has seriously killed my fandom. Um, I, am still a fan. I still, I still love Star Wars, but I focus on the older stuff. Now, you know, there's so much content out there and I'm going to, I'm going to continue to dive into that content, um, the EU and, you know, the older games, but at the same time, I, I just don't care anymore for Disney Star Wars. I don't care enough to make content about it. Um, I don't care enough to stay up to date. Um, I I just don't care enough to make videos on it. It's really that simple. I don't care enough about Star Wars, uh, Disney Star Wars, to make videos about it. I just don't. And some people have been asking me to do a review on Andor, and I've watched all of them. Um, I just don't care. I watch it, I feel nothing. Which is a shame, because I think it's the best Star Wars I've seen since season one of Mandalorian. I I think it's really good. I think the characters are complex. I think they're, you know, there's a lot of gray in there. Um, There's a lot to like in Andor. I think the story is unique. Um, You know, is it totally unique? No, we've seen this story, in fact, with the same character casting Andor. We've seen him do this heist type mission in the past in the movie that he's done uh do i wish they kept him alive in that movie yes because we're gonna we have a show now and we know how his character meets his end um but it's very well done uh it's very well acted it's very well directed uh it's a very good show yes it is a good show but kenobi sucked really bad boba fett sucked really bad Mandalorian has now become kind of a guest character of the week type show. Uh, it kind of reminds me of old Western um, shows where, you know, the, the story, the continuation story doesn't really matter. It's more like the the issue of the week, you know, av- adventures of Mando and Grogu, um, which it's still good in, in and of itself. But the sequel trilogy was 
awful and devastating. The character of Luke continues to get decimated. Um, Star Wars, to me now, unfortunately, a lot of it's been killed. And I wish it wasn't true, but it is. So yes, Andor is great. Uh, Diego Luna is a great actor. He's fucking phenomenal. He is amazing. And he very much carries uh, this these episodes and this show. So yeah, I like it. It's slow pace. It's a little bit more dark and gray. Um, very cool, you know, scenery. Very cool shots. The cinematography is awesome. The directing is awesome. The acting is awesome. Um, the Empire... They do kind of look like fools, like they always do, but a bit different this time. Like upper management seems to not be like completely black, like it, they're doing their job. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great things to like about it. But Kenobi and Boba Fett has, and the sequel trilogy and the new novels and retconning everything before that, it's all kind of killed, killed my vibe. I, I just don't, I don't care. That's how I feel. So, what does that mean? It means I'm going to focus on shit that I like and shit that I enjoy. Game of Thrones. Uh, I've People know that I'm a huge fan of Game of Thrones. People know that I've made videos in the past that haven't done very well because I don't have a fan base that's into it. Uh, Witcher. I've done videos on Witcher. Um, whatever it is that I'm into at that point in time, I'm going to make videos on that. I'm also writing. I'm writing several short stories right now. Um, that's going to turn into a novel. So, um, it, it's all kind of world building right now. The short stories that are going to eventually like my, my story I have set apart. I'm going to do in the future. And that is going, like, these short stories are in the universe that the longer one's going to take place in. So there's a lot of exciting things that's coming up, guys. And I'm still going to continue to do Triumvirate podcasts. In fact, I'm going to get back on my grind. I'm going to do two of these a week. Uh, it's, I'm going to cover the shit I want to cover. It's still going to be Triumvirate podcast. I'm still going to talk Star Wars. I still love Star Wars. I still am going to play KOTOR in the new one, and I'll do videos on them. Things that I enjoy about Star Wars, I will do videos on. I think that is fair. I think it's fair to myself, and it's fair to you guys. You're, you're getting content that I actually want to make. So, you know, uh, I've been thinking about how I wanted to do this for the longest time. Um, I've been pushing this podcast back forever, um, but here we are. And my promise to you guys is content will be on a consistent basis will be coming out. Podcast will be on a consistent basis coming out. This channel deserves love and attention from me. Um, I, I've put a lot of time into it, thousands of hours. To, I want it to succeed. Just like I want Twitch to succeed, just like I want my show to succeed, just like I want all my projects that I'm doing, I want them to succeed and they have to, they, they need people to be interested in order for them to succeed. And that is what I'm getting at. Um, what you guys are going to get from me is the best stuff I can give. Simple as that. You're not going to get bullshit. You're not going to get just thrown together stuff. Um, it, it's going to be good content for everybody to enjoy. So with that being said, what, what have I been up to? Um, House of the Dragon. Guys, House of the Dragon is fucking phenomenal. If you never watched Game of Thrones, you need to go drop what you do right now and go watch it. If you're a book reader, drop what you're doing right now and go pick up Game of Thrones, the first book of A Song of Ice and Fire. You need to dive into this stuff. If you like medieval fantasy stuff, it's a it's a no-brainer. Even if you don't like that kind of stuff, this will make you enjoy it. If you're just a if you like political series, boom, it's perfect for you. Um, if you like, you know, any kind of uh, science fiction, this is for you. If you're someone who's able to suspend your your disbelief, then this is for you. Um, there's so much to love and not that much to hate. Um, 
obviously the the ending seasons aren't great but the road to the end is worth it and i always try to tell people that you know people are like oh well the ending i've heard it was very terrible no the road to it is just as important as those final final bits that that uh, weren't unfortunately the best but go do it now house of the dragon you can also just start watching that. It's a prequel 170 years before um, the Game of Thrones series. Uh, there's also a novel on that, Fire and Blood. I'm, I'm reading that one right now. Um, yeah, I mean, this is what I love about A Song of Ice and Fire, the world that George R. R. Martin has made, Game of Thrones, Fire and Blood, you know, House of the Dragon, whatever whatever kind of, you know, lore that, that puts in... What I love about this world is what Star Wars and... Um, what Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and Star Trek, you know, what they all lack. What they lack is... They lack real stakes. Um, you know, there's something called plot armor. And plot armor is if you're, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, in the prequels, Anakin in the prequels. Um, they're never in trouble because, you know, we obviously know where they get, where their story ends. But even if you just watched the prequels, you didn't you never watch the original trilogy, you just know they're going to be fine. Uh, Lord of the Rings, no one of importance dies. Like Boromir, they do a fake death of Gandalf. Um, but everyone's fine. They have plot armor, right? They're going to survive. And you see that with like, you know, MCU movies and everything like that. So nobody has plot armor in uh, Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon. Um, every, every, it's all fair game. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. It keeps you turning the page or, or wanting to watch one more episode. It keeps you drawn in. Uh, the political drama is top notch, second to none. The spy, the spying, the the gossiping, the jockeying for power, um, you know, all of that is is all there. Now. Uh, and, and I'll get into. I'll probably do an individual review for each House of the Dragon episode and rewatch them and talk about them and 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 give my thoughts on on them individually. But I mean, this show is every bit as good as Game of Thrones season one. In Game of Thrones season one, I know some people say it's slow, but that's kind of the stuff that I enjoyed. Was the slower political? Um, you have to focus on the conversations and what people are doing. They're scheming and conniving, like that kind of stuff. Um, that's what I lived for. And it's also adult. You know, that's why I love Witcher. Um, Witcher is very adult. It's fantasy. Uh, there's It's a lot more fantasy, I would argue, than Game of Thrones. Um, it, there's a lot of magic and stuff like that. And, and I, normally I don't like it, but it's an adult world. You know, it's it's how it really was. You know, back then, if you're a peasant, you're li your life sucked. Uh, the only people who had a good life were royalty or nobility. Um, everyone else, their life was miserable. Uh, you know, your, your wife or your mother, they were going to probably, there's a good chance, you know, flip a coin. It could die in childbirth. Life expectancy, like 30 years old, right? Like life was just brutal. And those kind of stories where it really paints that, that picture, um, I enjoy that. I enjoy dark stuff. I enjoy great characters. I enjoy heroes with flaws. I enjoy um, villains that you can kind of see their side of. You can kind of uh, get down to their level and understand their point of view. Complex characters. That's what it's all about. And all those things that I love about each of these franchises, Lord of the Rings, um, Star Wars, uh, the Westerns, you see Clint Eastwood behind me. Uh, Game of Thrones, you see Daenerys, uh, Geralt behind me on that side. All these things that you love about your favorite stuff, that's what my novels um, or my short stories that are eventually going to be, um, you know, it's kind of world building for the novel I want to write. That's what it's all about. 
so you know i just wanted to make this podcast because you might be wondering hey what's up with pembridge tv what is going on you know is this is this guy just not caring anymore um he's inconsistent um he he's kind of one note on these podcasts basically complains about star wars like that's all i do and yeah it, it has been all i do and i want to get away from that i want to talk about things i enjoy make videos on stuff i love guys like i am a huge geek i love all things geek related um and some things more than others so that's what this is you know, you guys are going to love this stuff. I'm telling you, I, I think there's a lot of people out there who like the same kind of stuff that I do. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let me know your thoughts, man. Uh, until next time, guys, like uh, I appreciate all of you, yeah, especially my Patreon supporters, uh, Wendy LeBlanc and McDurgan. You guys are killer. You can expect another podcast. Um, probably I might just say like Saturday and how about Thursday and Monday? Definitely Thursday. Thursdays I will always do a podcast. And then I'll, you can expect a second one throughout the week. But until next time, guys, I appreciate you. And, uh, and, and you'll be seeing a lot more content coming from me that you're going to enjoy. Take care, guys.